Hi everyone, Anton here. Today I'm going to show you what you get in the kit when you get a first flush advanced. So, firstly, you'll see this one. This is the T piece. Um, this can mount any of its direction. Check the install instructions and we'll show you how you can mount that according to your needs and your current plumbing setup. So, the next bit you'll get is this, uh, we call it the seat. So it will just glue into any one of those sockets. Uh, I think it can, it can only go in one way. You'll notice it's got a funnel. And then when you've got, at the end, once you've installed everything, your ball will be inside the chamber and it will end up sealing uh, up against that top seat. So once your chamber's full of that first flush of water, the cleaner water that's coming in behind it will just sort of scoot over that and go to your sink. What you might also note is that we've got this dual socket arrangement. So the inside one is actually for 100 millimetre pipe, for example, in Australia, it's actually 110 millimetres diameter, and the outside one is four inch. So if you're in the US or any country which uses Imperial, that's probably the size you'll need. And what we also include for some of those uh, US or Imperial kits, uh, you'll get a few adapters which take it down to three inch. So they will just end up gluing in and they glue into that deeper position uh, inside there. So um, if you do have three inch, that's what you gotta do. So we've covered these. Next one we've got is this end coupling. So that will just simply go at the base of your pipe. So you'll have your chamber in here. Like on the picture, we've just shown it in clear just to make it easy to see. Uh, and that'll all glue together. Into that, uh, first what you'll do is you'll end up inserting a ball. We give you one ball, uh, might be black, might be a green one as well, might be a different colour. We've got a few different sizes depending on what size pipe you're using in your country. Um, so you'll get a ball. You'll also get this primary filter that just stops any big things getting into the advanced uh, release valve in here. We just don't want sticks and stuff going in there. So. This filter will just fit straight in there. So once that's all glued on, you'll find that you just press that into place um, and it'll stop any big things getting through. The next thing you'll notice is this clear conical end cap. Uh, it's conical just to allow the water to rush through a little bit quicker once the valve opens up. Uh, and it's clear just so you can have a little peekaboo in there occasionally just to uh, see if there's any sediment build up. For example, you'll note that there's an O-ring in there Make sure that's sort of seated in there relatively nicely. This one's popped out just a tiny bit. Just run your finger along and then that will end up screwing onto there. And in reality, sorry, you'll have that in first and then you'll put that in. But again, just check the install instructions and we'll show you how to do it. Advanced release valve. Uh, this one, it's got like a union joint on there so that you can twist it. So once you screw it on, you'll be able to twist and align that to whichever way you need to, so you can access it easily. And then once it's in the right position, just tighten that little union coupling up, and then it's good to go. We also give you a couple of brackets, uh, and those brackets are just to help when you've got that chamber, imagine that chamber sitting there, those brackets will just sit one and two. So depending how big the chamber is, just use those. If you've got a really big one, you might find that you want to go get a spare one. Uh, if it's, you know, over two metres or, you know, six or seven foot, but, but you won't really need to in reality. So they, they will do the job for you. So that's everything you get in the kit in your first flush advance downpipe. Thanks a lot.